Hey yo, my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixar. Hey yo! Holy moly! And welcome back to some <laughs> more Planet Zoo Contest Edition. Today we're gonna be looking at tigers, so stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're gonna just dive right on into things, starting with Stripes by Amora, one of our Discord advanced builders and Ruby patrons. And here she says, I wanted to create an open type experience with dangerous animal uh, while being safe for the guests. Stripes was born from this idea. I hope you enjoy. Boom. Wait a second. Safe for the guests? Wasn't Amora the one that made all the tigers escape? Yep. Or the lions, <laughs> yeah. the escaping lions? This is the tiger edition. The tiger edition. They're all gonna get out. <laughs> oh no. Well, this is good. Underground viewing. Is it single sided? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi. I mean, just waiting for the alarm bells to go off? Or... Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, the paths are up this time, so yeah, it might actually uh... be truly safe, but it looks like they could just kind of walk on through here. Oh, what? So, not as safe as you would like, even here. No. So Amora, or maybe it, it just wanted to happen. Amora has some issues to work out with her uh, <laughs> keep, keeping keeping her guests safe. Ah uh, well. I mean, um, I mean, there's yeah. there's a look at the overall enclosure. For me, it's a little bit lacking in uh, theming. It's just. Yeah, even the path work here could use a little something. You know, it's very plain. Not a whole lot going yeah, I, on here. I would have pulled the terrain up towards the pathway so you get a natural barrier. I yeah. just not let them run around in the middle there and just build a nice garden or something. Absolutely. Um, yeah, some more terrain paint and... I don't know. Yeah, more decorations. I'd like to see something, you know, <clears throat> making this... I just like it when something makes sense. Um, you know, when, like, I always think those tigers will just jump off the roof there, right? Onto right. the pathway. Right. So to me, in my so brain, fence, I'm fencing like... fencing around here. Uh, yeah, but maybe that's also the game's fault, right? Like, how does that make sense? Mm -hmm. In a way. So I but always yeah, have that... a hard time when I see that, and I'm like, yeah, just jump off, right? Mm hmm absolutely so for me that's always a bit difficult to get to wrap my head around that it, that this is just possible in the game well and, but i like it when it's really when yeah, someone puts fencing there just to make it realistic yeah when i did my wolves den i did put fencing along the top of my yeah yeah because it makes sense yeah, yeah just something uh to to let you know let the viewers know that the or the the, the guests know that this is the tiger area Siberian tiger, some sort of Siberian theme going on, some, you know, tiger stuff. It's just feeling like this could be a wolf's den. This could be any, it's feeling very generic. Hmm. Yep. All right. Yep. So that's our final thoughts on this one here today. We're going to move on to the next one. We have four in this episode. So let's just move along. The fanciest Siberian tiger habitat created by the fanciest, one of our Discord builders. And here they say the main part of this habitat is a mansion, which is most uh, mostly for the tigers, but there's also a viewing area for the guests inside. There's also a staff gate, a lake, and some nature. The theme is a combination of classic and East Asian. Enjoy. Boom. All right, a Ooh. mansion. That's kind of neat. Oh. So I got a viewing area of the mansion there. So the guests could actually go in there, eh? Hmm. That's they can? That's, what, that's what's said in here. It's a viewing area up in there. Let's go find it. Okay. Oh, I like the oh, uh, this, staff building. Yeah, this looks cool. Stairs. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, from the outside, somehow you need a little bit more trim work. But uh, it's on the top, mostly. But I think it's a really good start. Like, yeah. Pretty nice building. Oh, like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. The tigers get their own mansion. That's quite cool. Ooh. Oh, this is quite nice. They get their own viewing platforms. <laughs> Certainly fancy. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to see some garden work around the mansion. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, they have a bike. Some yeah. exercise. Yeah, tiger bike. <laughs> yeah, also here around the little lake, just put a bit more shrubs and yeah, a few rocks and some shrubs and yeah. some lilies. 
For sure. What kind of stuff? That building's really nice. I do agree that the top part feels a little lacking compared to the bottom. Yeah. But not the not the like Asian roof there it's on like the front the side. And... Yeah, but there, yeah. On those uh, arch pieces mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could have like a statue of a tiger here. Yeah, or just some flower pots and things, you know, just to spruce flower it up. Pots. You have those incense yeah. burners and all that, that kind of stuff, you know. You can Absolutely. Spruce it up a bit. But it's a, it's a neat building. We haven't seen anything yeah. like this, so it's, it's original. I like it. Yeah, that's for sure. And um, what rank is he? Is he build, builder. Uh, advanced? A builder, okay, yeah. Then yeah, really good for a builder. I think it's pretty, pretty great stuff. A very strong effort from the fanciest. Keep up the good work. And let's uh, jump right into the next one. I am the Tiger, created by Sublines, one of our Discord legend builders and diamond patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Sublines. And here he says, it's the Eye of the Tiger. It's the thrill of the sight. <laughs> Terrible puns aside, this is my attempt at a Siberian tiger habitat. I'd suggest looking at it in the summer and winter. Hope you enjoy. Boom. Ooh. Wow. Well, I like that building already. Yeah, we spawned in here. It's a mission. Hello. Hello. Furry. <laughs> Hello. So cute. And then they grow up to death. Uh, nope. They're really not nice animals, by the way. Yeah. Like if they, if they get close to other tigers' cubs, they will just like murder them. Yeah, bears will eat really their horrible. cubs. No, not their own. It's just other people. It's like, oh, those are not mine. No, they'll eat their own. Crazy. Oh, they'll eat their own. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that's a cool building. Although I do feel like it needs some supports, some structural support. I don't know yeah, if this can all hold it up. You know, <laughs> just something there. Yeah. The I wonder what kind of insurance those uh, uh, habitat keepers have. Yeah, I don't know. Walking in here like that? This looks really <laughs> good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Those are neat uh, custom, uh, chandeliers. Yeah. I, I, did, would they light up, though? Oh. Nice. That is nice. I like this. Yeah, the staff-only area. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually decorated it. Look at that. Oh, this is cool. I know it gives me some kind of cyberpunkish vibe for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why. We got a couple roads we can get on here. This goes into the enclosure. It's another overhang. Where does this one go? Ooh. Depths. Power. Oh, okay. Those lights are really nice. That color. Mm hmm. Oh, I really like this area. <clears throat> That thing will collapse on the uh, staff eventually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's quite nice. Oh, Can wow. You turn it back to... Day? Yeah. Oh, crap. Wow. Beam deck. It's really nice. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> I love the how well decorated the pathing is. Look how yeah. immersive that is. It's wonderful. Super immersive. The den? Oh, we got underground viewing hmm. down here. Oh, this is superb. Very nice. Mm-hmm. And then there's a little shopping area, or...? Oh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. A very strong submission. I like the buildings on this. Yeah. That's the angles. Yeah, I love the like the the little cabin feel about it all. Yeah, the color, the, the pathway, great foliage colors, is amazing. Eye yeah, of the, the tiger. Is, foliage is amazing. Like, oh, this is a superb creation. The terrain work there. Yeah. yeah. Nothing <clears> looks <throat> samey with the rocks. I mean, it's. He did ask us <laughs> to view it at winter. Yeah. So we will do that. For your enjoyment. Ooh. 
Very nice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it looks really good. Love the way the rocks look. Damn. Yeah, did a great... Uh... How is that when you program this? Like, because you can turn everything <clears throat> right in any direction. It's just a height map. Um, I actually had to do this with my cousin in Unreal. Uh, it's 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 basically just like your light map picks up light uh, and it has mm -hmm. like a 3D light map on it. It's the same thing, but it's based off just the Y axis. So if you take something and you rotate it, ba basically now the Y axis is facing upward. So it always knows where the snow should go because it's all based off the Y axis. The Y axis being uh. the one that goes up. See now it changed? So. Mm -hmm. The map just rotates as you rotate yeah. the object. So it's it's not that complicated, but every single texture is gonna require a height map. And then yeah. basically that they just put a snow texture on that. And based off like all the cracks and different little areas, um, it's the same thing as the specular map. So a specular mm -hmm. map allows light to get into certain areas, but in the cracks and stuff, the light will have a harder time getting in. So they use that yeah. map for their height map. And that means like the snow will have a harder time getting into these crevices because uh, it's based off the, the light map because the light wouldn't really hit there either, right? Uh, <clears throat> but, but because it's, it's on weird. the because it's on the Y axis, this is completely vertical. So it's gonna have a harder time sticking there. So it's a combination yeah. between the, the specular light map and the, 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 the Y axis height map. But this this is an extra layer on top of that, right? So right. would it's this a, be it's more- an, It's an additional texture. File. So it's more demanding if Absolutely. you turn it to winter. Yeah. Well, it's probably more demanding even when it's not turned to winter because it's loading in those height maps even before you change it to winter. Like it doesn't just load the height map in uh, when you turn it to winter. It's always on. So the game, yeah, okay. that's probably why the game is harder, uh, doesn't run as well as Planet Coaster because of all these additional texture maps. And they are pretty, yeah. they are quite expensive. Yeah. So. And also, on every item in the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which they're constantly being loaded. Okay. No, but yeah. superb job on this one today. Sublines. I really love yes. this creation. And we have one more, which is not a Siberian tiger, but a bangle. Ooh. So let's go check out the bangle. Bangle Tiger Sunken Temple created by Mick Arse, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, I created a sunken sunk. Ah, I created a sunken temple, jungle, swamp, ruins for the tigers that prowl around to their heart's content. It's surrounded with a high path encompassing shops, guest facilities, and under stairs staff facilities. Boom. Yeah. Okay, there's no pathway and no guests. What is happening here? Mm, yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. It is. I mean, there's, there's the entrance on the right. Is there even top right? animals? There wouldn't be because there's no way to get them here. Wah wah wah! Disqualified. Why? You're last build, you. <laughs> well, okay. uh, can you click on the on the barrier? Oh, oh just, I heard. Uh... <laughs> I heard that too. We're gonna have to go through the menu. Escaping animals. Okay, so there's two. Interesting. Okay, so staff got up here somehow. You would have had to run pathing to get your staff up here. Mm -hmm. So where's the guests? I mean, there's no pathway from the entrance, so... Right, but the staff originally used that same path. Because the staff have to enter the zoo. Yeah. So there's our bangles. Bangalore! You see how he just <laughs> derped in? <laughs> Oh, the animations are so bad in this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're really starting to see it going through all these submissions, you know? Yeah. Like, the true. monkeys are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> They're that's, the uh... worst. <laughs> <laughs> also because they just don't have... Uh, this is a really nice building. It is. Look how it's, like, broken up. Pieces are lying on the side there. Mm-hmm. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I love the contrast no, between them. 
Yeah, the the nature and the. They all follow the same path. So you're saying. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, they're... I like this destruction. There's, there's no it's randomization in their AI navigation. No, it's weird, right? Yeah, but it's only that way when they have things like a route, like because like the the tigers, they're just free roaming. But mm -hmm. with the monkeys, you could say, okay, I can climb from here to here, but I give you choice A, B, and C. All of the mm -hmm. monkeys will choose A. And it's like, why? Why yeah. isn't it randomized? I don't know. I don't know, man. But yeah, I like your... Uh, I the like way the temples. you crumble those buildings. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a big coliseum. The guests will just walk around the entire outside. But mm -hmm. it would be nice to see where it come, comes in a little bit, or the guests can... I don't know. Just having them walking around the outside isn't yeah, that interesting. Okay. It's not that interesting. Maybe a floating walkway somewhere. Yeah, one that or comes in or more... Or underneath and then towards a dome in the middle or something where you can... Uh, an under, the... Underground walkway where you can see yeah. a cave, and then you, maybe you come up into one of these temples. Mm. I guess have like a viewing platform in the temple. Te I, I think you can use this for a lot of things. I would see crocodiles, hippos, everything in this. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right? No, it's it's a great um, enclosure. I like the buildings. I like the walls. I like the way you've structured it all, the shape of it. There's a lot going on there. I wish it was a little bit more integrated and finished because we don't have like we have a couple information signs. We don't have donation bins. We don't have guests. Um, we don't mm -hmm. have a lot of like exterior theming, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not it's it, the interior was done, but then like the, the rest was kind of forgotten about, which is a little yeah. unfortunate. But what you did on the inside is what matters the most. And I think you did a good job. So, yeah, really, really good stuff. Sure. Make ours. Yep. So for Tiger Creations in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, click the little information button in the top right hand corner to vote on your favorite creation of the day. The winner will go on to a uh, finals bracket and then you guys will get to decide on who uh, is the top 10 of the contest overall. So be sure to vote. The more votes, the better. And uh, that's going to do it for us here today in the Tiger episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye now.